Harvey Lines. <laughs> All right. Hey, happy <laughs> holidays, everybody. Uh, Matt and Jill here at Big Red Liquors headquarters, and uh, today we are showing everyone our top 10 must-haves for the holidays. So these are just like not necessarily indicative of what we think is like the best of every category, but essentially like what you really need to have at your house around the holidays just to make things easier. Right, Jill? And right. Jill's wearing this festive red ribbon. It's Christmas. To show that it's the holidays. <laughs> so we got a little bit of beer, a little bit of wine, and a little bit of spirits, which is exactly what you need. It's nice to have a variety in your house. So uh, these are in no particular order, but let's just dig right in and go. So what, what's like one of your favorite things you, you think you have to have at your house, Jill? Um, I feel like uh, Christmas is always a really great time to enjoy some dessert wine. Um, I am a huge fan of port. That is not a secret. Um, and I know that Matt's a huge fan of port too. And one of our favorites is the Wars 10. Uh, this is a tawny port. So this would go well with uh, caramel dishes or caramel desserts and nuts. Um, it's like a liquid dessert in its own um, and it's on special and it's uh, one of our absolute favorites. It's just really fun to have after dinner and also just cool to have in general. Yeah, I mean, port's one of those things that I think maybe is like taking a dip in terms of its cool factor or maybe it's everybody's trying to eat less carbs and drink less sugar or whatever, but port's great because it's, it's really a combination of spirit, which is the fortifying element, and wine. Um, so if you're a spirit and wine lover, I like both, <laughs> it's a great combination. It's sweet, it cleanses your palate, it's great after a heavy meal if you don't want to like have a big dessert. Like literally a two or three ounce pour of port is perfect. It just gives you like that little bit more to go to bed. And people always say, oh, oh, maybe I got, maybe I had too much to drink and last time I had port. Well, that's not true. It's because you had too much to drink before you had the port. <laughs> and then the port just happened to be don't the- Don't blame it on the port. The port just happened to be the last thing you drank. So. Don't blame it on the port. And the nice thing about port, well, this is um, a 500 milliliter bottle. Um, you can actually have it open for, for months. Um, you can even try years if you want, but the yeah. port producers don't like and that. And leave it so. in your fridge. And leave it in your fridge, yeah. And it's always there. Um, it's always there when you need it, like on a Wednesday. All right, great bottle of port. We probably spent too much time All right. talking anyway. about it. Anyway. All right, next we have a great bottle of Cab. If you're going over to someone's house, um, if you're just like having, you know, I mean, let's be honest, like we do all this cooking at the holidays and we don't need like the most amazing bottle of wine. What we do need is a good bottle of wine. And Joel Gott does a great job. Um, this is a really wonderful California Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, we have a really great price on it and we have a really awesome price on a full case of it too. Um, and that's at most of the stores. So if you want to just get a bottle for, you know, party purposes or if you just want to give it to all your friends, an yeah. option. But yeah, just a solid California Cabernet. Yeah. I mean, starting Wednesday of this week, I usually just have an open glass of Cabernet with me wherever I go. <laughs> that's tomorrow. <laughs> that's tomorrow. <laughs> Um, all right, and then, you know, because we live in Indiana and Moscato is king, uh, we have our favorite blueberry Moscato from our local winery, Oliver. Uh, this is one of the lightning in the bottles. I don't know if you've never tried this, you should. It's amazing. Um, I actually uh, recommend blending the blueberry and the, and the lemon together for a blueberry lemon Moscato deliciousness. Um, yeah, so like people who don't drink a lot, they really love this stuff. And uh, we've got a great price on it and, you know, support Drink Local. And if, for people who don't know, Oliver Soft Red is the number one selling wine in the state of Indiana. So uh, for all you wine drinkers out there. This is number two. Uh, <laughs> Oliver sells a ton of wine. It's a top 20 winery by volume in the country. In the country. And it's located still uh, in Bloomington, Indiana. So it's always great to support local. You probably have a family member who is a sweet wine drinker if you yourself are not a sweet wine drinker. And so going with Oliver is number one, it's a great choice because it's a top quality producer. And number two, uh, you're spending your money locally uh, on jobs here in Indiana. So Oliver, I think is always a great choice. All right, now uh, moving on to some creamer. Who doesn't like to put that in their coffee? Okay, so this <laughs> Glassman's is something you'll see in Big Red Liquor stores. This is something that we had done specifically for our stores. This was uh, 
product that, you know, when the cold brew coffee craze was hitting several years ago, uh, we met with a team up in Minnesota uh, and they had uh, locally brewed cold brew coffee combined with uh, their proprietary cream base. And so this is what we came up with. And it is, if you're like, if you're one of those people that likes to have a bottle of Bailey's around for the holidays, just around the house, this will blow Bailey's out of the Blows water. Blows it away. It's, it's so delicious. It's like liquid tiramisu. <laughs> you just top the bottle, keep it in the fridge. Uh, it's it's not it's 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 not necessarily like health food, uh, <laughs> but it tastes it's Christmas. <laughs> it tastes delicious, and it's really perfect for the holidays to have something like this. So if you're if you're a fan of eggnog, you can add this to your eggnog. It would taste great. Um, but if you just want like a really nice chilled cream liqueur or something to just enjoy uh, by the fireplace, then I would suggest Glassman's. And it's like $10 a bottle. It's good for opening up presents on Christmas morning. So that's a good cream liqueur. <laughs> Next, um, obviously one of my favorites of all time. <laughs> you got to have a great bottle of bourbon at your house during the holidays, even if you're not a bourbon drinker. If you are a bourbon drinker, and you don't have a bottle of Maker's Mark at your house, then you're really missing out. You know, the party size, not just the little right. one. <laughs> I mean, this is this is just a standard, everyday, fantastic uh, bourbon to have. It's weeded bourbon, so for all those Pappy and Weller chasers, this is essentially the same mash bill. Bottled in that five to six year range, so it still retains all the vanilla sweetness, the caramel, the toffee, uh, it has a nice line of oak running through it, but it's definitely not over oaked. It's not like an aged, over aged bourbon or whatever. Um, and you don't have to chase it. It's available all the time. So I like to, you know, I like people like to hunt for bourbon. I get it. Uh, that's fun. But My favorite you, is the one I can afford and the one that, you know, is consistent yeah. and that yeah, I can get. <laughs> so yeah. I always tell people hey, look, revisit Maker's Mark. If you're not a Maker's Mark drinker, it's definitely worth checking out because. Uh, it's a very approachable uh, weeded bourbon and uh, again always available and it just looks cool on your bar That's true. all right uh, next we have champagne because tis the season for champagne um, which is every season but you know <laughs> we'll talk about that later uh, this is drop yay we've had some really hard time getting champagne this year but this is one I took a stand on and one that I absolutely love this is family owned um, you may not know drop yay because they don't have the marketing dollars it's some other orange label you know champagnes um but this is actually kind of kind of the idea of the of, of bourbon it's kind of the same mash bill if you will it's the same cepage as the other yellow label uh, very pinot noir driven um it's got some of those like kind of bready brioche note nose notes um but this is just a wonderful champagne and for the price for like 30 bucks i mean you really can't you can't get a better bubbly for that um, and if you're worried about what to serve for a holiday dinner, you could literally just serve champagne and you could literally just serve this and be totally fine almost with anything you're eating. Uh, it's good before the meal, it's good during the meal, it's great after the meal, it's just great to have. I would just have a case of this drop, drop yay yeah. around your house because people love it, people love it as gifts, but it goes with food, that's what it's made for. It cleanses your palate, it's got flavor. Like Jill said, it's got this really beautiful, like bready brioche flavor to it that just goes really well with food. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's just it's wonderful with cheese. If you're a cheese board lover, um, all of the cheeses really. So I am a cheese board. Lover. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, then we'll go on to scotch. <laughs> all right. So again, this is a, another thing. It's a it's a around the holidays. It's good to have a great bottle of scotch. Um, and I, I bring this one out as a sort of a standard. This is Johnny Walker Black. Um, sure, there are lots of single malts that are more expensive and harder to find and different sort of deeper flavors. But if you're just talking about a standard, delicious, um, sort of flag bearer for the scotch category, you really don't get much better than Johnny Walker Black. Um, it's got just like a touch of smokiness, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it peated or really smoky. It's just there in the background. It's an expertly blended whiskey. It's been around forever. They pump millions of bottles of this out a year. So the consistency is always there. You can always count on it. Um, this is like one of those things that's like, uh, 
if I'm in a strange hotel uh, <laughs> and I don't know what to order and I don't want to look at the menu and I don't want to think about it, I mean, I'm, I'm always up for ordering Wild Turkey 101, uh, Maker's Mark, Johnny Walker Black, uh, and, and it never fails. It's just a standard. So if you have a scotch drinker, you know somebody who's a scotch drinker, they're not going to complain about a glass of Johnny Walker Black. We've got it on sale, so it's a fantastic price right now at Big Red. and It comes in its own gift box, too. It comes in its own gift box. There we go. All right. Done. And I'm going to switch here because I'm going to talk about the last spirit, and then we'll switch over to beer. Um, you got to have a bottle of gin in your house. Uh, gin and tonic, martini, those are like holiday standards. You just got to have them around. They're refreshing. Uh, it's, it's already got that kind of Christmas sort of pine, um, juniper aroma flavor going on. Um, again, Tangare to me is like Maker's Mark. Yes, it's ubiquitous. It's everywhere. You can always get it, but it is delicious. There's a reason, because yeah. people like it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes things are popular because they're great, and I would put <laughs> Maker's Mark and this uh, Tangare gin in that category. It makes a great martini, makes a great gin and tonic. It's got that traditional London dry, juniper forward note to it, and it, it just goes with everything. So um, you cannot go wrong with a bottle of Tangare gin in your house. Tangare 10, Hendrix, whatever, they're all great. There's a lot of fantastic gins out there, but look, make it easy on yourself and just grab a bottle of Tangare gin and you'll be just fine. Okay. All right. On to beer. The last two things in our top 10 holiday must-haves. I think you should have a great local craft beer at your house and a great continental European <laughs> lager. So Stella Artois is the traditional, they do a lot of, they do a lot of advertising, holiday advertising this time of year. Uh, I believe the, the genesis of the beer was originally brewed for the holidays. Um, to me, Stella Artois and Heineken are basically interchangeable. If you just want like a very straightforward uh, European style lager, you cannot go wrong with Stella Artois or Heineken. 12 pack of bottles, keep it classy in your house for the holidays. It's an easy drinking beer. You don't have to think about it. Even if you have craft beer lovers at your house, like everybody can drink a Heineken, everybody can drink a Stella Artois. They just taste good. Um, they have enough flavor to feel like you're drinking a beer, but they're not gonna overwhelm and they're not too high in alcohol. They're just perfect, standard, great. Last but not least. Also good with cheese. Also good with cheese, yeah. <laughs> uh, a great local craft beer, and um, I don't think there's any better go-to, in my opinion, um, in, in central Indiana than Taxman Brewing Company. What, what that whole team of people do on a daily basis is amazing. Um, the price for what you get in a can of Taxman beer is unbelievable. I mean, we price these like under $6 for a four pack. They are delicious. Um, this is gold standard. Taxman's kind of known for doing a lot of big barrel aged seasonals, these 9%, 10%, and those are great. The triples, the quads, um, they're, they're great beers and they've got a ton of flavor and they're great for the holidays, but don't skip out on gold standard. This is like 6.2%, which is still high, Belgian style uh, blonde ale, but the balance, the crispness, the flavor, it really has so much going for it that uh, I always like to drink a gold standard you know, at least once, once a quarter, <laughs> just, to remind my, just to remind myself the quality of the beer that's coming out of this little craft brewery in Bargersville, Indiana. I mean, it's as good, it's as, good as anything that this giant uh, uh, multinational brewery uh, is capable of doing. So, uh, great local craft beer, go pick up Taxman. We also have a ton of local craft beer in all Big Red liquor stores. So you can always find good craft beer at Big Red. You can always find it at a fantastic price. Right. So, yeah. just to quickly recap, <laughs> You gotta have a good European lager in your house. You gotta have a great local craft beer. You need gin, because you gotta have a martini. You need scotch. Johnny Walker is a classic. You need champagne. You know you do. I'm not talking about sparkling wine. I'm talking about champagne. Champagne. From France. It's the way to go. <laughs> you gotta have Maker's Mark. You know, it, 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 it's just a standard, easy drinking, 90 proof weeder. 
You gotta have a cream. Check out Glassman's. It's delicious. Yep. You yeah. gotta you gotta have Oliver, especially if my aunt's coming over to your house. Yeah. You gotta have a bottle of Oliver, soft red or Moscato. They're they're great. It's always nice to have a sweet wine on hand, just in case. Or if you do like sweet wine, you could always have a dry wine on hand. Gotta have a great <laughs> bottle of Cabernet. Uh, I like to drink Pinot at the holiday, but I think Cabernet. You know, I always I, I always have Cabernet in my house. I always have Cabernet in my parties. And then last but not least. And then you have to have a port because it's delicious. Yes, that's the one thing. <laughs> it's like, that would be my drinking challenge for people. If you're bourbon, beer, whatever, go buy a bottle of port at the holidays. Have your big meal. Finish it off with a chilled glass of port. You will love it. It is yes. something you can add to your life that doesn't cost that much money and brings you lots of pleasure. Yay. Well, happy holidays, everybody. All right. Happy holidays. <laughs> Drink well. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>